Yes, I want to get your response to the fiduciary executive order. As you know, not all Democrats were supportive of President Obama when he touted this. They raised concerns that it would limit some folks' access to the financial advice industry. What is your response today on the president's decision to halt the fiduciary regulation? Well, I was very much involved in supporting President Obama's um, initiative on fiduciary. We received a lot of lobbying. Uh, as a matter of fact, millions were spent lobbying because the special interests in Wall Street weighed in heavily. Uh, they wanted to keep doing business in the way that they were doing it so that they had these salespersons out there with conflicts of interest mm -hmm. who were out there, you know, in getting uh, seniors to invest in products that were not going to be to their but benefit. But not all Democrats were supportive of it, right? I mean, well, so not. This... Look, I want to tell you, lobbying played a big role. Mm -hmm. I mean, the money rolled in here like you would not believe. Leave. And so a lot of members, both on both sides of the aisle, was under the influence of that lobbying. Okay. Yes. And Congresswoman, I, I told you yes. about an interview I had with Representative Ann Wagner yes. uh, earlier, uh, a Republican who was against President Obama's fiduciary regulations. Yes. I shared with you that, but let's play uh, for our audience what she said earlier to okay. me. Okay. All right. What's really exciting also is I think that what you're going to see coming forward today is, is uh, Treasury being told to go back to all of the regulators in the financial services sector and tell them, look, pause, let's take a look at these rules and regulations and, and see what needs to be done. So they're going to be involved in a big review. It's going to help us tee up choice. So clearly, yes. Congresswoman Wagner sees this as an ability for lawmakers to begin to pass uh, a repeal of Dodd-Frank. What's your response to that? Well, look, Dodd-Frank has been under attack ever since it became law. Wall Street does not like Dodd-Frank. You have the banks and financial institutions in this country who own this place, who got whatever they wanted. There were no questions asked, for the most part. But and so Dodd-Frank... Dodd basically weighed in after the 2008 meltdown in this country, where we went into a recession, where people lost their homes, all of these foreclosures took, uh, took uh, in effect, and uh, not only that, a lot of people lost money that they had invested in 401ks, et cetera, et cetera. It was a horrible time. But community yes. banks and smaller banks would argue that this was too much regulation and that it stifled economic growth. And there, again, are some Democrats in your caucus, even former Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, signaled that she would pass some type of community banking regulatory relief. Surely there has to be some type of reg relief that you can uh, work with Republicans on to pass through. Well, let me just tell you this. In Don Frank, we absolutely protected community banks, and they are, don't have to be uh, in tune with the regulations of the big banks. We excluded them from a lot of that, and members of Congress continue to work with community banks. We have complaints about some regulations, but we've done a lot. They are unfortunately under the influence of the big banks, and so the big banks don't want the community banks uh, to receive any special attention, and so they keep them tied to them. And whatever we do for community banks, the big banks would like to have it too. And we're not going to do that. Congresswoman, final yes. question for you. You know, we've talked a lot about today about what Republicans are doing to strategize yes. their legislative agenda. But what are Democrats doing today in order to strategize to oppose some of the executive orders and legislative actions we're seeing coming regarding financial regulatory issues? Well, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to protect as much as we possibly can the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. This is about protections. You know, a lot of people refer to this as regulations, but we're talking about people who have been ripped off for far too long, who have been taken advantage of for far too long. That Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has been able to recapture billions of dollars to return to consumers who have been unfairly treated by the big industries in this country. So we're going to continue to talk about that, educate people about that, and we're going to let people know in these small towns who is putting them at a disadvantage.